and if their user, the or the status was reported back as a no or a minus one, then it, it wasn't reported back as a no or minus one, then that means the user registered. And in here, I'm gonna use the same parameter because I just logged in or just registered. Right, because register just logs you in as well. And if it didn't register, then I'm gonna register, go back to the registration page and put up a message, something went wrong. Okay, so I'm missing actually one part. <coughs> the part that I'm missing is all the way up top, and that's called the section. HTTP section, or the section. And this one is coming from the request the the session now what I would do with the session is upon success of login so this is where success of the login I'm going to use the session to record the user just for one instance so as long as as that person is uh, logged in or has the browser open this object is going to be available for them and we can say that we can set an attribute with key user key and the value will be the you that um, get email I'm also going to do this upon successful or registration so right here, that's my server done. So the session keeps track of who is currently logged into the application. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is set up the, um, set up the guest started. So that's just a page. Um, get started. JSP. And in here, what I'm going to say is that we just um, get it started. Okay, so I know that I'm in that page. Set up the servlet for this. So in the servlet um, package, we had a new servlet. I know I need. This is the get started servlet. I know I need the do post and the do get. Now I need to change the, this route to what I agree on the user servlet. So right here, that is my that is my route for the servlet. And I need to also remind myself that I need to get this parameter. Okay, just like them. So in the in the do get, what I want is to display the get data page. So I'm actually gonna just do this, copy this, paste it here, and change this to get started. .dsp. The just logged in parameter, I need to go get it, because I'm ready to now say in the do post, all I want to say is uh, the string action because to request the get parameter and we're going to store action again and if action that equals to 
just logged in, then I'm just gonna say uh, do get pass the request and the response. Mm. Let's, let's, let's see how it works. Run this thing. Oh, I forgot before that. In the the login we needed to yeah. the registration. So in the login, I need to set up a scriptlet. Go that a message, set it to empty string, and say if request request wow. that get attribute and the attribute key was Error. If this is not equals to no, then set the message to the request and we need to cache that a string and display this here in a scriptlet say if message equals empty string and negate that now open then put a put the message in a H1 as well, with expressions, message, and then close the each thing. And I can do the same thing in the registration, but later. Let's see what it works. I should have put a link to registration, but I can go straight to here. Registration. That is It is. So email. You know. Password. Oh, I need to make sure. Did I do the password? Yeah, I did. Right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, error. So what I will do is invalid identify. So what I will do now is let's go have lunch. And I'm gonna um I'm gonna go. Fi I'm gonna fix it with you guys. I love with you guys, uh, so you guys can see the type of errors that you can look for. Like right now, I have no idea what's going on. So you, so you can see my thought process. So how, what do I look for when this type of error happens? Okay, so let's go to lunch. <laughs>